just a quick reminder as well please make sure that you're performing any synthetic or load tests against a website you have control over i'm using commit quality because this is mine but please don't use this one because it won't handle the load make sure you have authorization for whatever you're testing when you're looking to perform this kind of load and performance testing thank you and enjoy the video hello this is jared from commit quality and in today's video we're going to go over playwright artillery and typescript now you might be thinking i've already seen a video from this and you would be correct you have however there has been a big update made to artillery which has now allowed typescript files to be targeted it is in experimental mode so you might see some problems but i've used it a little bit and it's been pretty good for me now in my last video we showed you how we could have the TypeScript files and then we'd have to convert them into JavaScript files and then you target those instead. However, we can cut out all of those steps and we can just say target TypeScript directly. So the first thing you want to do is you want to install Artillery. So I've obviously already done this, but I'm going to do it on here just to show you. It's npm install hyphen g artillery that's to install it globally you want it to be on the latest version as well otherwise this isn't going to work if you've used it previously awesome so with that done now we should be able to use the new experimental mode for typescript so the things we care about is this artillery test here where this is a javascript function now if we just before we change this if we go to the artillery.yaml you'll see here we point in directly to this login.js but what we should be able to do now is rename this to .ts so it's a typescript file let's while we're in here let's just clean this up a bit these are from previous video and instead of a constant let's use what typescript would be which is an import and we can say test login from commands login let's get rid of this and we can say export async function there perfect that's just tidying it up a little bit but the key thing we've done is we've converted this to a TypeScript file. Now what we should be able to do is go into the artillery YAML and instead of pointing this at login.js, of course that doesn't exist anymore, it now will point to the processor.ts. And this is the problem we had before where artillery wouldn't allow you to do this. You had to, like I say, convert your TypeScript files into JavaScript, which you saw in my last video, and then you'd point it at like the new javascript files that we've created based off the typescript ones but now all that should be gone so now if i say artillery run and we want to use this file art artillery.yaml and hit enter we should see this working as expected now without any problems and it's using that typescript so here you can see bundle typescript file into javascript And it all as we expected as well so you can see here this go into commit quality login it's given us all all the metrics that we used to have in and it's all worked as expected this is a really good update from artillery it's going to be really beneficial because a lot of people they do use typescript with playwright and not having to the need to do what we done in the previous video is a lot easier here like i said it is an experimental mode so if i just open this up it says here available but experimental they've got examples you can see on example three if i scroll down to it you can see here it's kind of showing you what you do where you're just updating your your artillery file to be typescript and of course you can convert the actual code and imports inside it but it is as simple as that hopefully this video has brought some awareness to this just in case you are doing it in your projects if you do have any questions or comments please drop them down below a like and subscribe is appreciated i do have super thanks enabled on my videos do want to help contribute to the running of my channel and my website but as always thank you for watching have a good day